Judith Spencer. Howdy, Leo. So far, I've got a cat and a dog parked right here, so we'll see what happens. Look at that. Thanks, Phil. You too. Good luck. That's fabulous. Hey, Rev. Good to see you. Those Methodists are pretty awesome. Hey, Karen. Howdy from Tennessee. I don't know what people say in Tennessee. I don't know if they say howdy or not, but howdy. Julia Tyson. All right, y'all. It's 6.30. Let's get rolling. Hey, Suzanne. We are on page 109, an order of worship for the evening. Page 109. Once you get there, let's, let's worship. Light and peace in Jesus Christ, our Lord. If I say, surely the darkness will cover me and the light around me turn to night, darkness is not dark to you, O Lord. The night is as bright as the day. Darkness and light to you are both alike. Hey, Erica, good to see you. We are on page 110 of your prayer book. Let us pray. Grant us, Lord, the lamp of charity which never fails, that it may burn in us and shed its light on those around us, and that by its brightness we may have a vision of that holy city where dwells the true and never-failing light, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Hey, Pamela. On page 112 is the Phos Hilaron. Once you get there, let us say that wonderful ancient hymn together. O gracious light, pure brightness of the ever-living Father in heaven, O Jesus Christ, holy and blessed, now as we come to the setting of the sun and our eyes behold the vesper light, we sing your praises, O God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. You are worthy at all times to be praised by happy voices, O Son of God, O giver of life, and to be glorified through all the worlds. We have two psalms to read for this evening, Psalm 8 and Psalm 84. So Psalm 8 begins on page 592 of your prayer book, page 592. Once you get there, let's read that in unison, or at least as close to unison as we can get. <laughs> One of the things I've had to adapt to, I'm sure many of us have, is that time lag Obviously, we don't hear each other, so it's not such a big thing on Facebook Live, but when we use Zoom and other things and we try and read a psalm together, somebody's always four or five seconds behind. They just can't help it. Page 592, Psalm 8. 
and let us read that together. O Lord, our Governor, how exalted is your name in all the world. Out of the mouths of infants and children, your majesty is praised above the heavens. You have set up a stronghold against your adversaries to quell the enemy and the avenger. When I consider your heavens, the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars you have set in their courses, what is man that you should be mindful of him, the son of man that you should seek him out? You have made him but little lower than the angels. You adorn him with glory and honor. You give him mastery over the works of your hands. You put all things under his feet, all sheep and oxen, even the wild beasts of the field, the birds of the air, the fish of the sea, and whatsoever walks in the paths of the sea. O Lord, our governor, how exalted is your name in all the world. Hey, Chris. Hey, Debbie. Good to see you all. All right, and then we continue with Psalm 84, which is over on page 707. Psalm 84, page 707. And once you get there, let's read that together. Page 707, Psalm 84. How dear to me is your dwelling, O Lord of hosts! My soul has a desire and longing for the courts of the Lord. My heart and my flesh rejoice in the living God. The sparrow has found her a house and the swallow a nest where she may lay her young. By the side of your altars, O Lord of hosts, my King and my God. Happy are they who dwell in your house. They will always be praising you. Happy are the people whose strength is in you, whose hearts are set on the pilgrim's way. Those who go through the desolate valley will find it a place of springs where the early rains have covered it with pools of water. They will climb from height to height and the God of gods will reveal himself in Zion. Lord God of hosts, hear my prayer. Hearken, O God of Jacob. Behold our defender, O God, and look upon the face of your anointed. For one day in your courts is better than a thousand in my own room. And to stand at the threshold of the house of my God than to dwell in the tents of the wicked. For the Lord God is both sun and shield. He will give grace and glory. No good thing will the Lord withhold from those who walk with integrity. O Lord of hosts, happy are they who put their trust in you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Since today is Trinity Sunday, our Gospel reading comes from Luke. We've been in Matthew, and we'll get back to Matthew tomorrow. But today our reading is Luke 12, 32 to 40. And Jesus said, Do not be afraid, little flock, for it is your Father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. Sell your possessions and give alms. Make purses for yourselves that do not wear out. An unfailing treasure in heaven, where no thief comes near and no moth destroys. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. Be dressed for action and have your lamps lit. Be like those who are waiting for their master to return from the wedding banquet so that they may open the door for him as soon as he comes and knocks. Blessed are those slaves whom the master finds alert when he comes. Truly I tell you, he will fasten his belt and have them sit down to eat and he will come and serve them. 
If he comes during the middle of the night or near dawn and finds them so, blessed are those slaves. But know this, if the owner of the house had known at what hour the thief was coming, he would not have let his house be broken into. You also must be ready, for the Son of Man is coming at an unexpected hour. Here ends the reading. Hey, Shannon, good to see you. Our canticle for this evening is on page 89. Page 89. We're going to do a portion of canticle 12. <clears throat> page, actually page 88, I'm sorry, not 89, but 88. So Canticle 12 is that slightly more involved canticle where we have the invocation on page 88. We're going to read section 3, The People of God, which is on page 89. And then we finish with the doxology on page 90. So three parts, three pages. We got this. <laughs> page 88, Canticle 12. Let us read together. Glorify the Lord, all you works of the Lord. Praise Him and highly exalt Him forever. In the firmament of his power, glorify the Lord, praise him, and highly exalt him forever. Now part three. Let the people of God glorify the Lord, praise him, and highly exalt him forever. Glorify the Lord, O priests and servants of the Lord. Praise him, and highly exalt him forever. Glorify the Lord, O spirits and souls of the righteous. Praise him, and highly exalt him forever. You that are holy and humble of heart, glorify the Lord. Praise Him and highly exalt Him forever. Let us glorify the Lord, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Praise Him and highly exalt Him forever. In the firmament of His power, glorify the Lord. Praise Him and highly exalt Him forever. Hey, Rev, good to see you. And that is a good thing. Very, very glad for that. We continue on page 120 with the Apostles' Creed. Once you get there to page 120, please join me as you are able. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, <clears throat> creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. We continue on page 121. Dear friends, the Lord be with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. We continue with Suffrages B on page 122. <clears throat> Excuse me. That this evening may be holy, good, and peaceful. That your holy angels may lead us in paths of peace and goodwill. That we may be pardoned and forgiven for our sins and offenses. That there may be peace to your church and to the whole world. That we may depart this life in your faith and fear and not be condemned before the great judgment seat of Christ that we may be bound together by your Holy Spirit in the communion of the Blessed Virgin Mary and all your saints, entrusting one another and all our life to Christ. Oh, 
Almighty and everlasting God, you have given to us, your servants, grace by the confession of a true faith to acknowledge the glory of the eternal Trinity and in the power of your divine majesty to worship the unity. Keep us steadfast in this faith and worship and bring us at last to see you in your one and eternal glory, O Father, who with the Son and the Holy Spirit live and reign, one God, forever and ever. Amen. On page 123 is a collect for Sundays. Please join me in praying that together. Lord God, whose Son, our Savior Jesus Christ, triumphed over the powers of death and prepared for us our place in the New Jerusalem, grant that we who have this day given thanks for His resurrection may praise You in that city of which He is the light and where He lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. God of many names and no names, please comfort us in this time of stress, anxiety, fear, anger. Help us to find the peace, comfort, patience, love, forgiveness that lie within us, many times out of our conscious awareness. Help us to forgive ourselves and others for impatience and disagreements. Help us to realize that we are blessed, too blessed to be stressed. Amen. Then over on page 832, 832 is prayer 61, a prayer of self-dedication. Page 832, prayer 61. Uh, when you get there, let's pray that together. Stream of little animals coming and going here on the porch. Page 832, prayer 61. Almighty and eternal God, so draw our hearts to you, so guide our minds, so fill our imaginations, so control our wills, that we may be wholly yours, utterly dedicated unto you, and then use us, we pray you, as you will, and always to your glory and the welfare of your people. Through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. O God, you manifest in your servants the signs of your presence. Send forth upon us the spirit of love, that in companionship with one another, your abounding grace may increase among us. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. This time... I invite your thanksgivings and intercessions, silently or aloud. I give thanks for my friend Julie and my friend Elaine and for their families. I ask that you'll keep them safe. I give thanks for my friend Derek and his family and ask the same that you would keep them safe as well. I give you thanks for our bishop and his wise leadership during this time. I ask that you will help him <coughs> to have the energy that he needs uh, and the wisdom from you to know when to speak, when to be silent. Uh, please guide him and um, guide our leaders at Ascension Frankfurt as well. I thank you so much for the great depth of wisdom and experience and knowledge and just love that you have brought together in these dear people so that they make wise choices, uh, thoughtful decisions for all of our well-being. Please guide all of us. Help us to listen carefully to you, to not move without your guidance, and then to move how you would have us move uh, and guide us in this new world. Please bless all that are gathered here and their families and loved ones. Please keep them safe. Grant them a peaceful rest. We lift up Tony and Candy to you as well and Father Bill. Ask for continued healing where healing is possible, freedom from pain, uh, and the supports that are needed. Amen. Hey, Leonard, good to see you. So I talked about it. Uh, when did I talk about it? Oh, at Bible study this morning. So Father Bill's been in the hospital. Uh, he had to have... Uh, so a minor surgery. Well, I don't know. He had to have his bowels unblocked. I guess that's not minor. Anyway, he had to have surgery Friday evening. Uh, that condition came upon him rather suddenly. He's doing great. Uh, 
is recovering well and he's ahead of the benchmarks. Hey, Charlie, good to see you. So he's ahead of his benchmarks. He and I talked this morning. Uh, this morning, they were just feeding him ice chips. They weren't having anything else, so he sounded like he had just crawled across the desert. But he was in good spirits, didn't have any pain. Uh, it was really encouraging to hear his voice. So he's doing fine, but can you use your prayers. Hoping to be home by Tuesday. Let's pray and see. On page 113 is our final prayer. It begins, Blessed are you, O Lord. Once you get there to page 113, let's pray together. Page 113, the prayer that begins, Blessed are you, O Lord. Let us pray together. Blessed are you, O Lord, the God of our fathers, creator of the changes of day and night, giving rest to the weary, renewing the strength of those who are spent, bestowing upon us occasions of song in the evening. As you have protected us in the day that is past, so be with us in the coming night. Keep us from every sin, every evil, and every fear, for you are our light and salvation and the strength of our life. To you be glory for endless ages. Amen. My friends, the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Let us go forth rejoicing in the power of the Spirit. Hallelujah. Alleluia. Good to see you, friends. Good to see you. Good to worship with you. Give your clergy a shout if you need to talk, you need anything. Uh, otherwise, see you back here tomorrow at 6.30. Blessings, friends.